Hi, this is Rob Cottingham. A few quick words about fear. I'm going to show you something that scares the willies out of me. No, not the car, not the highway, but that. That, my friends, is a mountain called the Stawamas Chief. It's a sheer cliff face that people insist on climbing up. And I do not know how they do it. I have just the most powerful phobia in the world of heights. And the thought of being even, uh, even a third of the way up there just right down makes my jaw clutch. My point is this, I have a phobia about heights. There's also a rational component to it. I mean, I could fall to my death. Not pleasant. Public speaking doesn't scare me. Now, I respect the phobia that a lot of people have about public speaking. And I'm not pretending that I'm able to cancel anybody to get over that. But for what it's worth, Here's a piece of information that it took me longer than it should have to figure out, and that I think you might find helpful. Unless your audience is a very rare one that's actively hostile to you, and that can happen in partisan politics, it can happen uh, if there's a really divisive issue that you're discussing, by, if it's Mac versus PC, for example, by and large, an audience that you're speaking to actually wants you to succeed. They actually want you to do a good job speaking for, to them. They want you to be informative. They want you to be articulate. And they want you to have as good a time as they're going to have. And the reason for that is your failure is going to be miserable to them too. So they are, that's not what they're cheering for. They are cheering for your success. And for the longest time, I had this crazy idea that audiences were basically hoping I'd fall flat on my face. And the fact is, they aren't. You know, Nelson from The Simpsons sitting there pointing, going, ha ha, he's the exception. Practically every audience I have ever spoken to wanted me to succeed. And the knowledge that the audience is actually on your side that can be huge when you're getting up and you're feeling a little nervous. I still do feel nervous before I get up to speak. There's still that little moment of hesitation, those little butterflies in my stomach. Now though, they're becoming energy rather than anxiety. That's an awful lot of help. And a big part of that is realizing that these folks are on my side. I hope that helps you too. I'm Rob Cottingham.